everyone so today i am filming the lenny instagram followers pick my makeup routine today um i have nowhere to go after i put this on so i'm just doing this for the hell of it i have three days off and i'm bored and i also don't feel good so this is kind of like a, i need something to do plus i don't feel good so it should make me try and feel better type of thing um, I asked you guys a couple days ago on my Instagram to vote in some polls to see what I wear for an entire day. So yeah, after every single segment I will post the photo of what won up on the screen. You will see it. Um, I will be going like this a lot because I am using my phone. I am not like those other YouTubers who have nice cameras and camera people and editors. Yeah, no, I do, I do everything on my phone. This is going to be about 40 minutes, so I'm not going to make you watch 40 minutes worth of a video. So, after I start each thing, I'll cut it and then move to the next thing. I just set off my Fix Plus to hit my arm. Go me. Alright, enough with this lawn ass intro. Let's get into it. So, I never said for primer. I usually don't wear primer. So, we usually just spray my face with Evian. So, that's what we finna do. Mm, this one's running low. That one's running low. I also forgot to ask eyeliner, mascara, and lip scrub, so we're just going to do those based on my own feelings at the time, considering I do not feel good. So, with that being said, let's just jump into it. So, first things is foundation. So, I asked you if you wanted to see the NARS Sheer Glow in Mont Blanc, or Born This Way, and this is in the shade Seashell. This is a tad darker than this, so my foundation is not going to match my skin. Sorry about it. Two Face One, so we are going to shake it up and dry my skin and do this. Yeah, this is definitely too tan for me, but you know, you live and you learn. I'm gonna take a foundation brush and start. Oh, that is really dark for me. That is way too dark. I mean, it may look good. Put together but currently it is not matching me obviously i'm gonna go down my neck because this doesn't match me at all actually it kind of does it just it's dark oh damn they were right this is full coverage af so let me know in the comments what you want to see for back to school videos because I know some of you go back to school in August I know some of you go back to school in September I go back I think September 3rd or 4th I will be going back for my fifth year of college I know most people don't take five years of college unless they're going for like a doctorate or something along those lines but I am just slow and yeah I look really tan right now but that's because I'm using a darker foundation do my ears really just touch them up if I didn't look sick before I do now damn they were not kidding when they said this is full coverage holy crap all right didn't think that would take forever but didn't actually take that long I'm just gonna remove the foundation from my hand so I can continue on with the day. Oh yeah, this foundation, I really like it. I got my makeup done a few weeks ago. I will insert a picture now. Now that you've seen the photo, or you haven't, because I don't know how to edit correctly, um, they put this foundation on me and it matched me perfectly. This is a couple, like a shade or two darker than what I'm used to, but I made it work. So, coolio. So, next is concealer. So I had put up two concealer choices. I had put up Master Conceal by Maybelline or the NARS Liquid Concealer. Um, NARS brought one by a landslide, I believe. Insert photo now. Yeah, so NARS one. 
So we are just going to do this right here. I go shade, I go a shade darker than my actual skin. So I'm kind of glad I'm wearing Born This Way because, excuse me, excuse to use this. Now we're gonna go in with a concealer brush and quickly go over this. Now I use this to just highlight some features. I don't use this for any other purposes but to highlight because the foundation just covered all of my imperfections that I wanted it to cover. So that worked out. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have used the new Fenty concealer because I want to. I just don't know what shade I would be. I know if I wanted to match my now my new shade, I would be shade 185 because I had to rematch myself because 110 was from like seven years ago when she first launched it and I bought it when she first launched it. So yeah, okay, that's that. Concealer done. Now let's set it. So we're gonna grab a fluffy brush. That's for bronzer. We're just gonna grab a giant fluffy brush. Now the next step I asked you guys about was setting spray. That's a nice spray. Was setting powder, so it was either the Fenty Loose Powder or the Maybelline Fit Me Powder. You guys said Fenty Fit Me or Fenty Powder. Oh Lord, just gonna be messy. I don't have a beauty blender, so we're not going to bake, so we're just going to basically put this all over my face, so here we go. Now that we're set, and this is going literally everywhere, by the way, I'm using the shade Butter. For this just saying yeah. all right now that i'm set in place and i'm mad as hell let's now do bronzer i have something better all over my chest all right let's do bronzer next so the next thing is bronzer so i asked you if you wanted to see the rimmel natural bronzer or the fenty beauty You guys again said Fenty. So here we go. contour because I don't know how to contour so we just skip contouring we just do this to darken up just a little bit that's because I'm very pale in case you guys didn't know that I'm pale okay next is blush do I even have a blush brush? No, I guess we're using the same color. I guess we're using the same brush for that. Let's just actually just do a little quick down. So we're going to use the same brush, except we're going to use it for blush. So we're just going to use the same brush. Da -da 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 -da. Now dry it off a little bit. Now, I asked you guys if you wanted to see this NYX blush in the shade Crimson, or if you wanted me to use a blush kit. Um, at first this was winning and I was getting very concerned, then this one. <laughs> Thank you God, I love you. <laughs> so let's just pop on some of this color. I am doing the light color in the corner right here. It is the shade Spoiled. I'm just going to pop that on the cheek. It's 
right on the apple of the cheek. I have the darker one, but I can't find it, so when I find it, I'll make a video with it. All right, the next step of my makeup routine is my eyebrows. Now, obviously, I forgot to ask about this product. So we're just gonna use my brow, we're just gonna use the brow definer from Maybelline. It is the Total Temptation Maybelline New York brow definer thing. And I use the shade 305 Soft Brown. So I'm gonna quickly do this off camera and I will be back moment. All right, brows are done horribly. I know one is pointier than the other, one's more arched, one's probably more filled in. I don't know, I don't care. What does that look? Oh, that looks bad up close. Eh. Fudge it. So now we're on to eyes. I asked you if you guys wanted to see, I really thought y'all were gonna sabotage me. I asked you if you wanted to see this small little Maybelline palette, which honestly I could have worked. Or the Morphe 39S. All of you people picked the Morphe 39S. Appreciate you. So let's put on some primer on the lid. Pop this up here like so. That moved, but screw it. I have no clue what kind of a look we're going for today, because I should have asked that, but you know. I'll think ahead. If you guys are wondering what that is, sorry if the screen just went blank for a moment. My low battery even popped up at my 20%. Don't know if it popped up on your end, but if it did, I'm sorry. Just taking my Morphe Eyelid Primer, which I need to get a new one of, but luckily I'm going to Ulta this week so I can get a new one. I'm blending in with the Real Techniques Concealer Brush, and lids are primed and beautiful. Let's go in with a fluffy brush. Use that for highlight. Where's the other one? Quickly clean it. This is from this weekend when I went to my friend's house and did my makeup. We are going to spray the brush down with some Fix Plus. Got a brand new one. This is my old one, which is really down there. Got a whole new Fix Plus. So in my crease, we are going to be putting the shade Bougie. That's to start the crease. Wow, that is bright. Holy holy crap i did not know how bright that was holy moly pigmentation morphe is trying to kill me okay well now that that's on didn't know how that extensive that was gonna be holy crap okay very scared for this next shade i'm about to put on now in my inner corner, not my inner corner, in my outer crease area, to define it just a little bit, we are going to put on the shade Very Good. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm terrified. This doesn't even look good at all now. Great. Call me. Call me. Okay, let's just start the lid now. On the lid, we are going to put the shade Shiny Object. It 
It's a nice silver color. We're gonna go back in with this brush, go back into Bougie real quick. Just go over the top half of this real quick. So it gives a more blended look. You guys wondering what that like squeaking sound is? It is my chair. It is not me, it is my chair. Just thought I'd mention that. We are going to dip in to flaunt it really quickly and take that in the crease. Okay, we've used enough pink. That's, that's done. I should have planned out the eye better, but you know, I don't plan these things out very well, so. Back up you go. Okay, next step is eyeliner. We're gonna be using the shade NYX Professionals and the shade Black, my usual shade. I'm finna scream about 10 seconds. I feel like I'm gonna cry. Okay. <laughs> Next, we're gonna use mascara. We're gonna use two different ones. So we're gonna first use Snap Scara in the shade Pitch Black. I use this as kind of a base mascara. Then we're going over it with Damn Girl. Now we're gonna go back to highlights. So one of the polls I asked you if you wanted to see, I did, did two Jeffrey options. I said brain, I said platinum, I said brain for you. Brain freeze one. So. We finna go in right now. We finna spray this. I don't know why I keep saying finna like I'm cool. I'm not cool. Spraying this brush to like the gods. We are going to go into the shade Freeze Tag. And go in. some of this in. Somewhere above the brow. Then we're gonna do some here and somewhere right there. Cool. Let me first see how crazy I look right now. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, not that bad. I thought this looked a lot worse. And then the last thing I chose or put up against was Triggered, and I think Diva was the other one.
And it was a 50-50 draw, so it was triggered. So I chose triggered. I don't know why I did that, but here we go. There we go. Let me bring you guys closer to my face. Ooh, not bad. Not bad. C curl. Good job, me. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a comment down below what you want us next. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. As I was editing this video, I realized I never did setting spray. Thank God I didn't take this off my face or else I would have screamed and had to do it all over again. Thank you, Jesus. I did not do that. Hmm. <laughs> So, I'd asked you guys on the Twitter poll if you guys wanted to see All Nighter Sending Spray, which I just purchased, or Fix Plus. All Nighter Setting Spray 1, insert clip, two things ago. Here we go. Now we're done. <laughs> How could I forget? Probably one of the most important steps in a makeup routine is to set your face so it doesn't move. But then again, I'm not going anywhere. So I don't know why I just set this face. Oh, wait, because I'm filming a video. That's why. <laughs> Love you guys.